What's up guys, Gaming Xbox here today, I'm doing a gaming video on GTA Online because I'm doing a Stormberg vs Tordor video, like I said in my Tron Up the Bath challenge, yeah, um, if you haven't seen that go ahead and check it out, uh, yes, because I'm recording this on a Friday but um, you guys won't see this until Saturday tomorrow, so it's the... Um, yeah, and also, so because if you didn't see my Pressmark One versus the Pressmark Two video, guys, you can go ahead, you can go ahead and check that out. But yeah, that's why I'm doing the Stormberg versus Tordor video today because I want to see uh, which one's better. So make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel, turn notifications on so you don't miss a single video like this one, and put in the comments saying you enjoyed the video and you. Uh, and which one's the best? Uh, what do you think? What's the best, Stormberg or Tordor? To be honest, I think the Tordor, but we'll get onto that in a minute because we're doing the Stormberg first. Because obviously this one was the first one to come out uh, because of this, this came out in the Doomsday DLC. That's why I'm doing it first. But let's test the top speed on this car. And also, guys, I will be taking both cars underwater. So don't worry guys, I won't be taking both cars in the water, yeah. Right. There you go, good top speed there, good top speed. It's not it's got some nice brakes, yeah. Both submarine cars are pretty handy to uh, use actually. Because I use I used to use this for the uh, Bolt explosives uh, in the casino heights because, as you know, bolt explosives is underwater. But now, because I've got the Tordon, I'll probably use the Tordon more because that can boost and it's more quicker. But anyway, uh, let's get, let's um, see the armor, let's shoot the car and see the armor. And then we'll take it underwater. I just don't know where I'm going to exit to go with the water. I'm close to the water, but I just don't know where I'm going to exit. There you go. Yeah, it's got pretty bulletproof glass. And as you know, I do go with I do go with bulletproof tires. I've got bulletproof tires on all my cars. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, yeah, the glass is pretty armor. It, but it, I, you can easily shoot someone out. You know. And also, guys, also guys, if you didn't know, you can actually have the Stormberg in your submarine too. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be the Tordor, it can be your Stormberg. But yeah, let's uh, exit the airport and uh, try go underwater with this car, and go underwater with this car, and and then we'll get the Tordor out when we've done that. So I just need to go on my way to the water. And also, also guys, uh, when you're underwater, it's uh, A to shoot missiles, I believe. There we go, get the water. No. Yeah, it is A to shoot missiles in the water, yeah. Torpedoes basically. Yeah, this one don't have the sonar scanner, but the Tordor does have the sonar scanner though. I can't remember when I bought my Stormberg to be honest, but the Stormberg is I believe this well, how much is the Stormberg again? Wait, can I have a look on the internet? Oh my god, I can. Underwater. Uh, how much was the Stormberg? Let me have a look for you guys. Uh, oh yeah, the Tordor, right? The Tordor is 3.6 mil, but you guys mostly will have it because it it was not long ago on the lucky wheel. But yeah, it's 3.6 mil the uh, Tordor is, and the Stormberg is 2.3 mil. But uh, most of you guys would have the Stormberg by now, definitely, because that's been out for like nearly four years. When it gets to December, anyway. But yeah, um, pretty, uh, Stormberg's pretty good in the water. As you know, uh, mostly I'm probably I'm probably gonna like the uh, Tordor uh, because uh, that's like got a boost and that can boost in the water too. But anyway, let's uh, drive back to the airport now. Jesus Christ! Yeah, I feel like a lot of people have gone off the Stormberg now. Fucking hell! Yeah. I used to do this with the uh, bomb explosives prep, but I'm going to do it with the Tordor tour door now because of how fast it can go. Jesus Christ. This is like, well, okay, well, a couple of, we're 13, we're, no, 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 well, no, okay, yeah, because we are coming to the surface now. Hold on a minute. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hold on, hold on. 
Oh, you've got to be joking me. Uh, how am I going to get back up then? Hold on a minute. You know what? We might as well just return it to storage. Yeah, let's just return it to storage now. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I feel like a load of people... Let me know in the comments if you've gone off the storm book and you're now liking a Tordor. Because... But also, I think they should have called it, I think they should have called the Tordor the Stormberg Mark II. I don't know why they didn't call it that, because it's basically a Mark II version of the Stormberg. I don't know why they didn't call it that, it's a bit weird. Right, let me call my uh, Tordor back on. I swear to God, if it spawns over there, I'm literally going to be done. Because as you know, if you call your... Uh, Car walk, any car walk uh, in the uh, airport. Uh, what you want? Some wheels? Your mechanic normally takes I'm it all the way to the other side of the airport, and that's an absolute piss. Then that is. I swear it never used to be like that. I swear it used to. There you go. I don't know why he doesn't do that all the time, but most of the time he always takes it to the other side of the airport, and you'd have to run like everywhere, and you'd have to steal an NPC vehicle. But you'll get cops on you because there's cops at the airport, isn't there? There we go. Right, let's uh, top. The, let's uh, see how fast the storm the tornado is now, guys. Without the boost, though, I'm not going to boost yet until maybe I'm in the water. But yeah, this car is looking good. Uh, I've gone with off-road tyres on this because I found like it looked good with off-road tyres. But anyway, let's see how fast it goes. And also, you can have a spoiler on the Tordor too, so that's what I like about it. It looks like an old Lamborghini, but with missiles instead of, uh, with missiles and machine guns, yeah. Don't know what Lamborghini would do that, but yeah. Okay, pretty fast without the, uh, pretty fast without the boots. But then again, we have got a spoiler, so what to expect. Now I'm going to test it with the boots, the guys. Oh yeah, the solar scanner, you can't turn the solar scanner on until you go in the water. Alright. Yeah, pretty fast with the boost now, pretty fast. And it charges and it charges up pretty fast too actually. Alright, uh, let's see the armor and then we'll go in the water. We'll take this car in the water when we've uh, seen it. Alright, uh, let's check the armor. Oh no, and also guys, another thing what you can do with this vehicle is you can actually do some pretty good stunts with this vehicle. Yeah. Again, it's easy to shoot someone out of it because I have done it before. And also yellow and black play, uh, lights and play. Yeah. Right, there you go. So it's pretty bulletproof. Oh yeah. Nice interior too. It's like a, it's like a Ferrari interior. Wars Wars interior. Yeah, and again, this is aimed to shoot missiles underwater, underwater. But anyway, the back of it definitely looks like an old Lamborghini, though, the back of it. But yeah, let's go underwater now and uh, test it underwater now. And I will boost underwater too. Let's shoot that fence. Yeah, the soda scanner, so you can search for treasure. Well, treasure. When they mean treasure, they mean money, basically, guys. Not actual treasure. They basically mean money. Yeah, the boost in the water is pretty good. The handle's really good. I'm liking this. Aim to shoot missiles in the water. But yeah, that's really good. I love this car. I love it. And also, guys, let me know in the comments if you want me to do uh, a review of the car completely high school weapons. Um, one day, because, not yet, but one day this year, I might do a review of the car clear eyes weapons, if you guys want me to, because I haven't done a review weapon in ages, since 2019, but let me know in the comments if you want me to do that, and I will. Right, there you go, there you go. Yeah, this is very quick, I'm, if I ever do bolt explosives again, I'm going to get this out, because this is better than this is. Right, hold on a minute, hold on. And also, you can easily get yourself unstuck because of the boost. 
Subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel. Turn notifications on so you don't miss a single video. And yeah, subscribe, comment, peace in the next video.